Hey, good morning, Grace Church. This is Edie Swearingen, Communications Director here at the church. And I just want to let you know that steel is arriving. Our building will begin to be erected today. The steel beams will be going in. And I just thought it was awesome to see this truck drive in. I wanted to give you just a quick glimpse of the truck with some of the steel being delivered here early this morning. He's going to maneuver this truck back through the narrow path. And there is also a crane. I'll take you around this way. I'm going to try to stay out of the way today, but I can't resist the urge to give you some glimpses at what's going on. So here is a large crane. It's going to pick those steel beams up and drop them where they need to go so that they can be erected as Paul Dacey told you yesterday this is your last glimpse of what the back side of the building looks like currently it will not look like that after today there's the crane first load of steel. It's an exciting time over here at Grace Church. Stay close to your Facebook accounts today. We'll be doing more live updates as exciting things happen and the building begins to take shape. And we will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey Grace Church, we're back for just a couple of quick seconds. I just wanted you to see the first bit of steel being taken off the transportation truck. And there it goes. I can't get too close. I don't have my hard hat today. But there's the steel being removed from the truck, the transportation truck by the crane and they're lowering it down into the area where it needs to be. I'm going to take you inside and see if we can get a glimpse at what's going on through that favorite vantage point of mine, that open screenless window in the current sanctuary. That crane is going to get a workout today. I'm going to go over here, just get a quick glimpse at how this process works. They're going to be lowering it. Uh, the building is going to be erected. And I don't know if they unload, I would imagine they unload a bunch of steel. and then get to work loading crew and then one crew down there on the ground that just gets to work putting those beams in place and getting the building erected. But I will keep you posted today. Let's go inside and see if we can get just another quick glimpse through the building. going to take you to that window that gives us such a good glimpse of what's going on out there. I've got to open it. Bear with me. And there's that first bit of steel. 
crews are still working on assembling these wall frames. But there is steel on the ground, folks. So I just wanted to give you a quick glimpse. I will be back in just a bit as the action continues. I'll keep giving you these live looks at what's happening. And I think that answers my question. There's a gentleman down there that is readying those pieces to get, get to work, get to building. Okay, we'll be back with you again soon. Hey, good morning, Grace Church. This is Edie Swearingen, Communications Director here at the church, and I'm bringing you a Facebook Live. It's about 10.30 on Monday morning, and I just wanted to show you that the very first steel beam has gone up. Super exciting time. These guys are working hard down here. I got some photographs just a few minutes ago of a gentleman at the very top of this beam. I'll post those a little later at gracefreechurch.org slash building dash campaign. That's where all of the action uh, will be posted for posterity. It'll be a busy week on the website as I up to upload uh, video and photographs of all that's going on here this morning. But I just wanted to drop a live here really quick and show you the very first beam steel beam has gone up. They'll be working hard all day here at the church and tomorrow. I was talking with Emma Tobin who works with her dad Andy Tobin on these projects and she said just as soon as they come they will be gone again. Just a couple of days hopefully by Tuesday afternoon we will have an entire steel structure all set up here our new sanctuary and lower level fellowship hall and children's ministry, the Grace Church building project, expansion of our existing building, and this will become a multi-purpose room, an additional fellowship area, and this doubling the size of our current sanctuary will be a brand new sanctuary. So again, just a quick update. First steel beam has gone in. And I will continue to keep you posted today with additional live videos as the action happens. Thanks for joining us. Catch up with you soon.
Hey, good afternoon, Grace Church. It is about 1 p.m. on Monday afternoon. And I just wanted to show you the progress that they have made. They are back to work after a quick lunch break. But as you can see, there are three beams that have been erected on this side. I believe that this is, let's see, the west side of the building. Now I could be wrong. Could be, it's either west or east. And now I'm disoriented. But at any rate, you can see these three beams have gone up. And then if you look just a little bit further in the distance, you can see a couple of cross beams that have been put in. Now they're a little bit hard to see, but Pastor Mark Marvel was telling me that those beams are essentially the floor for the sanctuary section. So um, below those beams will be the new fellowship hall and children's ministry area. And then above those two cross beams will be uh, the new beautiful new sanctuary. So they have made some great progress. Another load of steel has been delivered. If you can see way off in the distance near the crane, there is a truck that has an additional load of steel. It was just delivered a few minutes ago and they're gonna keep working back here. The steel structure is supposed to be finished tomorrow afternoon. Can you believe that? It just takes a couple of days. I was talking with Emma Tobin, uh, who works with her dad, Andy, and she was saying just as soon as they come in, they go out. It is such a quick process, much quicker than I would have imagined this part of the project taking but apparently it's only going to take a couple of days so today and tomorrow if you'd like to come out and take a look feel free to come and park in the lot and then you can watch a little bit of the action and if you want to catch us on Facebook here I'm going to continue doing live updates throughout the rest of today I'll be here for a few more hours watching as things progress and bringing you those live updates. Also check out our website, gracefreechurch.org slash building dash campaign. Again, it's gracefreechurch.org slash building dash campaign. And that will give you um, updates throughout this week. I'm gonna try to keep on top of that this week, just posting the latest and greatest videos, photographs, so that those of you that don't catch us live on Facebook can still see what's happening over here at the church. So again, if you're just joining us, they have completed these three beams and then a couple of cross beams just beyond those. If you could see where the construction workers are just above their heads there, you'll see there's a couple of cross beams and they are unloading the next truckload of steel. So stay with us, keep uh, your phones handy. I'll bring you another update in the next hour. Hey, good afternoon, Grace Church. This is Edie Swearengine. For your last Facebook Live update for Monday, the 27th of August. And I just wanted to show you the progress that was made today. Lots of steel beams have gone in. Some of the cross beams have gone in. And we have just been so excited today to bring you these updates and to just to watch all that has gone on here today. They are making incredible progress. They are planning to be done with the steel structure by tomorrow afternoon. 
Tomorrow morning we're going to just enjoy donuts and coffee with the crew out front of Grace Church and uh, just as a little thank you to them for all of the hard work for the steel crew. It has been incredible to watch them work and even a little unnerving at times. They, they tend to climb all the way up to the top of these uh, beams and they shimmy across those cross beams and it's just incredible to watch them work. So we are so grateful for them. We're grateful to Andy Tobin and his team. They have been just taking such good care of us, just building this at what I would consider lightning speed. They're just great progress from today. So I wanted to just give you this last update live and give you a look. They are calling it quits for today. They are going to head out, but they will be back early tomorrow morning. If you want to come over and take a live look, you can hang out in the parking lot and just watch the action. But also, if you prefer to just watch Facebook Live updates, I'll be giving you those as well as updates on the website, photographs and video and a lot of great info as we continue our building process. Thanks for following along today. It's one last look at where things stand at the end of workday, Monday, August 27th, here at Grace Community Evangelical Free Church and our building expansion project. If you want to follow updates, it's gracefreechurch.org slash building dash campaign. Okay, we'll catch you tomorrow. Have a good evening.